Yo, what is going on guys, and Kooch here, and today, I'm gonna be showing you my Prison of Elders gear that I managed to get from Varix the Loyal, the House of Wolves vendor. Now, for those of you who do not know, you don't necessarily have to waste your armor core or your weapon core on the specific item that he has every single week instead you could choose to buy the judgments chance now this requires one armor core and a weapon core so let's get right into my loot on my titan now this is the first one that i did and we end up getting the kel slayers cures now this is a very nice chest piece i do like it but my only problem with it is the fact that i rolled strength I was genu genuinely pretty mad about that, to be honest with you. I did not want strength. It's one of those things that I do not like on any of my characters. I prefer having 100% intellect and 100% discipline. So this in the future will be an automatic dismantle. But right now it's okay because it's getting me to level 34. So as you guys can see, here are the perks for it. It has one special one that pretty much gets me more super energy during the Kibal part of the the prison of elders fight and as you can see this is the helmet for the titan i managed to roll this the second time unfortunately i don't have the live rolling for you because my footage got corrupted but here is the helmet nonetheless so many people have been inspecting me in the vestian outpost just because it looks so badass and unique now this is called the Kelslingers, Kel Slayers Helm, sorry, and it has momentum transfer, inverse shadow, and hive arbiter. Greatly increased recovery and super recharge when fighting hive in the prison of elders. So pretty much when you build your entire character's gear to have all four pieces of armor for prison of elders, you get, I believe, a buff on each different place. So fallen, vex, cabal and what am i missing um did i say hive fallen vex cabal wh whatever all four of those so right here on my hunter this is the first time i managed to grab the judgments chance on my hunter i get the kel hunter's path greatly increase agility and grenade recharge when fighting vex now that is pretty damn cool unfortunately guys if you have noticed i have gotten strength on all three of my judgment rolls so far how unlucky is that honestly i don't want strength take it out of here i seriously just hate it now on my fourth and final one so far that i can buy i ended up getting the kel hunter's sight which is so so lucky you guys can actually end up getting weapons that are 365 prison of elders weapons but um i'm just getting really lucky and getting armor which is actually really surprising um you have a 50 50 chance of getting a weapon or armor piece and i managed to grab four armor pieces which is uh pretty bad odds that's a 12.5 percent chance i believe if my math's right actually it's i think it's worse than that it's half that so that is pretty insane my buddy frostbolt was insanely lucky he ended up getting the shadow of veils now this is a six sniper that is 365 prison of elders absolutely insane i love the way it looks and i definitely want this in my arsenal in the near future um i believe he actually ended up getting the titan helmet as well on his first roll we both rolled together and he ended up getting intellect on his with a nasty uh stat roll so i was pretty jealous of that and finally my buddy hyperfuse also got a servant of axe or the fusion rifle so yeah that is about it for the video guys i hope you enjoyed drop me a like if you did subscribe for more daily destiny content and as always and cool ciao yeah if i ever said i'm never scared